So it's time for some Forza Motorsport and its release date news. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know that a lot of people are waiting for new Forza Motorsport game, uh, including myself. And we know that this game is coming out this year, that's what Turn 10 and Microsoft kind of confirmed uh, back in January, I think. Uh, we know that this is going to be Xbox Series slash PC only game, so this is a, a proper current gen only game. Uh, we know that it will ta be taking, well, hopefully a uh, good advantage of the Xbox Series consoles. I'm not really sure if it will take full advantage of, the, of this console, but who knows. Um, we know that this game will come with ray tracing in game. So not like Forza Horizon, for example, on consoles like where you can, you can turn on ray tracing in uh, some um, not in game mode, uh, so photo mode or something like that. So you will we will have uh, ray tracing uh, on both Xbox Series S and X in game. So while playing the game, you will we will see ray tracing on cars, reflections, etc., etc. And you know, let's face it, this game looks uh, great. It's just like you know a proper next gen game, I would say. So, uh, so what about that release date? Um, because we know that it's coming this year, but a lot of folks actually was hoping for. You know, kind of like middle of the year kind of release date for this title. But yeah, now we know that that's not really going to happen because, um, um, well, they turn 10 kind of confirmed that it's actually coming out later this year. So something that me and, um, and a lot of other people kind of, uh, well, guessed because uh, if you look at the uh, Xbox games release schedule and stuff it would only make sense to release Forza Motorsport at this point later this year and they kind of confirmed it right so there's a Forza.net uh, website where um, well Turn 10 and uh, and Playground Games post uh, you know updates on Forza games Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon and uh, there's one particular post where they spoke mainly about Forza Horizon, really, for Forza Horizon 5 updates and stuff. But they also mentioned Forza Motorsport and they say in this post uh, this. While we are focused on polishing and preparing Forza Motorsport for release later this year, we are still keen to hear your feature and track requests. We can keep in mind... Um, what you want to see most for the future. So they in this post are confirming that a they are close to release because um, Forza Motorsport is in polishing phase, uh, but they also confirm that they are planning to release this game later this year. So if you consider the fact that it's uh, almost end of April, uh, in May we will get Redfall. In June, uh, well, we'll get uh, Diablo. I know that this is not like a first uh, first party Xbox game, but it's going to be a big release anyway. Uh, so I don't think they would want to release it uh, close to Diablo. Then we will have summer holidays, so I don't think they will release anything, any first party game anyway. We will get some Game Pass games. Uh, and then we've got Starfield. Um, beginning of september uh, which which 6th of september i want to say i, I can't remember exact the date anymore um so the only other date i would imagine uh, forza motorsport could launch is october because i don't think they would want to release forza motorsport literally in in a month uh, when uh, starfield is launching because a lot of people will be invested in this game and i know that these uh, two titles are totally different and you know will probably cater to a different audience uh, i could see myself basically playing starfield and forza Motorsport at the same time oh, not literally at the same time but you know what i mean like you know switching between these games and stuff because this like playing a big open space opera you know it's kind of cool but you know basically 
during breaks, um, in between uh, playing bigger playing se sessions uh, in Starfield, I may as well play some Forza, Mo Forza Motorsport, but I think for Game Pass it would actually make sense to release Forza Motorsport a little bit longer after, uh, a while after Starfield launch. And even though Starfield will be a game that will live, well, I don't want to say forever, but <laughs> you know what I mean, for a very long time, Skyrim is still alive, Skyrim is still being played, Fallout games are still being played, check Steam um, service and that survey and, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, so I think Forza Motorsports is going to be an, an October uh, game and um, you know what, like it is what it is. I would love to, see, uh, I really, I was really hoping for Forza Motorsports to release in spring and there was a, a ton of rumors about that uh, last year. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. It's kind of shame that we will we just have to wait for all these games to release uh, next year. Uh, sorry, later this year. But it is what it is. Um, I mean, it's not that I'm crying about it because you know I still didn't beat Ghostwire Tokyo. I still need to um, uh, beat that other game, um, um, Atomic Heart. Uh, that's on Game Pass still. Uh, Wulong, that's not my type of game. Really, I played a little bit, but yeah, no thanks. Um, and then you know, Jedi Fallen. Um, sorry, no, Jedi Star Wars Jedi Survivor is coming out in literally six days or five days, really. Um, you know, I just started playing Dying Light. Sorry, uh, Dead Island Two. I just got a code from the publisher. So there's so many games to play that I'm not really bothered about it, about it that much. Uh, Diablo 4 is on the horizon, right? So, um, and then we're going to get Starfield. And so, so it, there's still a lot of games to play. So it's not all bad news. But um, yeah, when it comes to first party or big first party games or games that will really take full advantage of Xbox Series consoles, yeah, I guess we will have to wait a little bit longer at least until end of this year but uh, it is what it is guys uh, we've waited so long for so many years so i guess a couple of months more not going to hurt, hurt us much um either um and i still don't really know what's going on with stalker 2 because that game has been well it's still been advertised as a 2020 uh, 2023 title so you know if forza you know maybe it's going to be sort of like a november title who knows right it it may very very well maybe but what about hellblade you know we've heard some rumors about hellblade being a 2023 title as well so that would be a huge end of the year if all these games would really release so we'll see so anyway guys that's the video i hope you enjoyed it for the motorsport in october why not i believe that's the month release month for for the motorsport but we'll see anyway guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one take care